I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Modeling. We're going to set up a mock Charleston and practice decision making. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do this exercise three times. We'll alternate between being the dealer or East and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 tiles, then 13, and then 14. And I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers for each one. We have Green Dragon, West and South, 1389, Pung of Threes, Pair of Eights, 9 Crack, 239, and Bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I probably would build around the threes. So I would keep the threes, the dragon, maybe the nines, because if we get sixes, we could play three, six, nine. I'd probably keep the two in case consecutive run comes in. Not so much the one, because we have no fives and a gap between the one and the three. I would keep the dragon for like numbers, so I'd break up that eight and pass a west. So we have a few things we can do here. Consecutive run, like numbers, or three, six, nine. Let's pass these three. We have a six. I would focus on three, six, nine. Let's let this two go. Three, six, nine of some kind. We have a four and a two. So there is some potential for consecutive run at this point. Three, four, three, four, three, four, three, four, two, two, three, four. South and eight can go for sure. So let's look at consecutive potential with the three dot being the focal point. Three, four, Three, four, and mix suits. Hmm. Maybe two, three, four, mix suit Kongs. Three, four, three, four. Third hand from the bottom, Pung Kong, Pung Kong, Pung Kong, no gaps. Let's let the two go. Oh, we got that two, but here's a three now. Three, four, three, four, two, five. I think I would let the three, six, nine go and focus on consecutive. Three, four, three, four. Let's see here. I would still keep the dragon in case we get the other threes. Let's see, maybe let the two go, the five. We could still maybe play three, six, nine. So maybe let one of the nines go. Three, six, nine in mixed suits. Let's let the nine dot go. 
let's see, 3639, 369 with threes. All right, let's let's let these go right here. You know what? Hold on. There's that knitted hand. Three, six, nine, dragon. So let's let the nine bam go instead. Nine crack seven dot white. Okay, let's keep the white dragon. Oh, look, we got another multiple in here. Nine crack. Three, six, three, six, nine. Three, six, three, nine. Hmm. Hmm, seven dot. We're kind of in between three, six, nine and three, four. Here's three, four and then three, six, nine. Okay, let's let the fours go for a minute. Three, nine, three, nine, nine dragons. I would not pass four, four, seven. Like numbers with threes, we have no flowers, that's a gap. Three, six, nine with the matching or the knitted dragon. Maybe we pass the white dragon. Because we do have a hand with no gaps. Three, six, nine dragon or like numbers with threes. We're giving up the dragon though, the nine crack. We really aren't using the nine crack. I was just thinking maybe we keep those and let that go instead. Three, six, oh, three, six, nine dragon, three, four, three, four, or like numbers with threes. We're going across, we have to pass fully. We have to let something go. Oh, this is a tough one. Let's let the white dragon go. Flower. And we got a dragon. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is where I was thinking of that hand there, but we, we have the matching dragon here. We have a gap, no three crack and we just let the white dragon go. Now that we have that flower, hmm, here's three, four, five, nine. I would let the nine crack go. We can still do three, six, nine dragon right there. We could do like numbers with threes and dragons there and then pass those. Five, I would still keep the three, four. So either three, six, nine or three, four. Let's pass one blind. Six, we got the six. Three, six, nine, dragon. We have another six here too. Three, six, nine, three, six. Three, six, nine, Concealed. For the optional, let's let the dragon go. Since we have a gap, no three crack. Let's pass two. We got the nine. Two discards. Three, six, nine of some kind. Maybe concealed. 
I think, let's see, three, six, nine, three, six. We could do three, six, three, six, nine. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. We have the nine crack out there. I don't remember if that was had potential. Then we could do three, six, nine, dragon. I'd say we have three discards and options. We'd be a contender, I think, for this game because we do have three multiples. I think I would go for maybe the third hand down. Pair, pair, pung, pung, kong. I don't think I'd pick a hand. I think I would gather and see what happens. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write pull one in the comment section below and what you would have played. Too many tiles. I was supposed to do non-dealer, but I accidentally took 14 tiles. Next time we'll do non-dealer. So we have a joker, a dragon, one, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine in dots, one, four, nine in bams, six, nine in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? These were my tiles. I think I would play odds. I would just hold all the odds, keep the dragon. We may or may not be able to use it. There are two dragon hands in odds. So I think I would pass one of each suit. We have our first multiple, the red dragon. Here's a five and a west, I would reassess completely. So we have a pair of red dragons. That's where we start. That's where I would start, red dragons. So then maybe we could play one, three, five dragon, fourth hand from the bottom. One, three, five, one, three, five, just hold them all, little odds. Here's seven, nine, five, seven, nine. There's the dragon hand that can be used with either little odds or big odds, but we have, let's see, we, we don't have the right sevens. At least here we could do one, three, dragon, three, five, and use the joker for the three. Let's see, the six can go, the west can go, we have seven, nine right there, five. Let's let the nine crack go. We could still maybe do big odds. So with dragons instead of little, let's just see which one builds. We got the three, one, three, five, little odds. Here's a dragon too. Let's let the four go, the nine and the seven. So I'm thinking little odds. Depending on the numbers, let's see. We have no gaps for that dragon hand. Let's pass these three. Green dragon now, oh, look at that. Two pairs of dragons.
I wonder if we could swing a 369 dragon hand. Fourth one down. 369 offsuit dragons. We would need crack. Oh no, we would need dots. 369 and dots with the offsuit dragons. But these need to be pairs. That would be really risky. Okay, so if we did 135 red dragon, we would do 1335. We need tiles to pass. Dragon. 1335 dragon. I mean, we could do 133. We don't have the five. Here's the five bam. 1335. One, one, three, three, five, nine, dragon. I would not stop the Charleston. We're in between hands. We could either do three, six, nine dragons, but we have a gap, no six dot. So I would let it go. I would play little odds or maybe something with dragons. Four dot. Okay, four dot west. Maybe we hoard winds. East and west with dragons. In consecutive run, the dragon hand, there are two actually. They're one suit matching dragons. So I wouldn't be distracted by this four with these dragons. I'm thinking little odds. Little odds, one, three, one, three, five. Okay, let's let the west go. We have no east. We got a five and a one. Wow, look at this. One, five, one, three, five, one, three, five dragons. Hmm, I think I would let these go and play dragons. Let's see, we have ones, threes, and fives. Maybe we could play like numbers with fives, but we'd have to let these dragons go. I don't think I would do that. This year, the like number concealed hand uses singles. All right, let's pass these three. Three, six, we ended up with a six dot. Well, we're kind of in the same place where we were before. Three, six dragon, no nine. Three crack east. You know what I would do? I would, I would keep that six. Let's see if we can get that nine, nine dot back past these. We got that nine crack. That's the wrong one. All right, let's see, four, four, six. Okay. Okay, so we could do three, six, nine dragon. It's really weak with our pairs. Or we could play one, three, five dragon and just keep our options open. Use this for joker bait. This could help us get one of the pungs or maybe even the Kong. Oh, this one was really hard. We're gonna have to work hard on this one. We would continue to gather. Maybe hold this one to see if a nine comes in. What would you have done with these tiles? Write it in the comment section below with pull two.
we have a joker, a pung flowers, pair of these, red, white, singles, one dot, two five in cracks, two four in bams. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would start with the flowers, maybe the east. There is a single pair Pung Kong hand, third one from the bottom under winds, but we have a long way to go. I would say that's plan B. And then maybe keep the dragons and the twos for a potential year hand, pass those. Let's see what we get. A dragon. I would play a year hand with dragons and let the east go. Let's pass these three. No keepers. Three, six, nine. Kind of coming in there. Two. Dragon. Dragons here. North six. Let's pass these three. South four, five. I would let them go. Threes, okay, now here, I would maybe think about playing that quint. Two, three, two, three quint multiples. Potential Kong here. Okay, seven. With the year hand, we don't need two twos. But we have two, three, two, three dragon. We're kind of in between. We're on last right. We have one tile. Let's see. I wouldn't play like numbers with twos. I would leverage the dragons. We don't need two threes, but we do need two twos for 2023. So maybe let the two crack go. Use this for the year. Maybe play the quint as a, another idea. And then these would be the other two dragons. I think that's what I would do here. We still need a three bam in there. Boy, this is tough because we do have a two three here. We just need, you know, a two in there, two here. Maybe what we should do is let the three go and see if we can get a better two, another two or a three, kind of give ourselves options there and let go of the quint since we have only one joker. Let's let these go. No keepers. We'll pass those. Okay, two discards and a hand with options. So really we have four discards, which is not bad. That's pretty good. I'd say we would be a contender for this year hand. And we have an option here with either bams or cracks. This would be the zero. Two, zero, two, three here. Maybe this could be either a white or a green dragon, or we could do the year here and use this for joker bait. If you would have done something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below. That was a tough one. When you first get your dealt hand, identify the strength and then gather tiles to support the strength of the hand. Pick a category that uses most of your tiles and then Gather tiles during the Charleston to support the strength of your hand. At the end of the Charleston, if you have four tiles or less, I would say that you're a contender or maybe even a front runner. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.